President Sullivan, platform personnel, distinguished faculty, honorable guests. My name is Dr. Jay Marr. I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer for Sullivan University, and it is my pleasure this morning and my high honor to present to you the 223rd and 224th graduating classes of Sullivan University. They completed their programs in January and March of 2019. As the graduates enter the auditorium this morning, the Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost will stand before us to ceremoniously receive each graduate and affirm their readiness to enter the ranks of those throughout the world who have preceded them. As each level enters the auditorium this morning, they will be led by a distinguished academic leader from the university who will prominently display a banner of designation. Today's graduates will be led first by our Doctor of Philosophy graduates followed by our master's graduates, then our baccalaureate graduates, then our associate, diploma, and certificate graduates. I now invite the provost of the university to the podium to formally summon the graduating class. The university mace, which is cradled in front of the podium, is an ancient symbol of authority it reminds us that universities are custodians of both the enduring traditions of learning and of the power they bestow upon those who come to learn. So that these commencement proceedings may begin, distinguished academic leaders of the university, I authorize you to bring forth the 223rd and 224th graduating classes of Sullivan University.
Good morning. I'm Dr. Jay Marr, President and Chief Executive Officer for Sullivan University, and on behalf of the faculty, staff, and students at Sullivan University, it is my pleasure to welcome you, our graduates, your parents, spouses, and friends, to the 2019 Spring Commencement Ceremony for Sullivan University. Right now, would you please join me in thanking Ms. Jill Lucas, who is providing the beautiful music for graduation today. Now I have just a few announcements before we begin our ceremony. For those of you with small children, we ask that you please be sensitive to the importance of the ceremony to the graduates and their family. While we certainly welcome everyone to the event, if your child does become fussy, please take him or her out of the auditorium. In the rear and on each side of the sanctuary, accessible from the hallway, are two soundproof cry rooms. These rooms have glass so you can see the ceremony and audio so you can hear the ceremony. But we can't hear you. <laughs> For those of you who wish to take photographs of your graduate, we ask that you wait in your seat until your graduate's name is about to be called. Then return to your seat so others may also take photographs. Please note there is a professional photographer here today taking pictures and there is information in the program as to how you may order pictures of your graduate receiving their diploma, certificate, or degree. While graduation is a celebration of the accomplishment of these men and women, we ask that you use proper discretion in expressing your excitement for your graduate and hold applause until all certificates, diplomas, and degrees have been awarded. We have many graduates who could not be with us today as they are working in other parts of the country and indeed the world. Many have sent their best wishes to their fellow graduates and we miss them and wish them well. Many are joining us from around the world through an internet streaming of today's ceremony, and we welcome both our domestic and international family and friends. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the Sullivan University System, Glenn Sullivan. The Sullivan University System is comprised of Sullivan University, two Dale Carnegie franchises, and various other auxiliary enterprises. President Sullivan and his father, A.R. Sullivan, who could not be with us today, have led the institution through numerous growth stages with campuses located in Lexington and Fort Knox. And most recently, he has advanced Sullivan's presence in the Commonwealth of Kentucky with centers for learning in Louisa, Carlisle, and Mayfield, Kentucky. Sullivan University also has a very robust and strong online uh, division as well. When Sullivan University began offering the Doctor of Pharmacy degree in 2008, President Sullivan was instrumental in Sullivan University's evolution to become a doctoral degree granting institution, accredited by the prestigious Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. Most recently, President Sullivan envisioned a merged Sullivan University system of schools, which included Sullivan University, Spencerian College, and the Sullivan College of Technology and Design. This vision was brought to fruition when these three schools merged into the singular, regionally accredited Sullivan University on June 22nd of 2018. President Sullivan has spent over 40 years in higher education. He has served in various leadership roles in state, regional, and national educational organizations and associations. He has served as president of the Southeastern Association of Private Colleges and Schools. He was also a commissioner on the Commission on Colleges on the Commission on College of, the, of ACICS from 2001 through 2004. And he has served as a team member on numerous accreditation visits. President Sullivan has continued the vision established by his father and late grandfather to provide a career-focused curriculum that has contributed to this university's success. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce you to, you to, 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 introduce to you the president of the Sullivan University System, President Glenn Sullivan. All right, thank you, Dr. Marr. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is the uh, second graduation of the Merge Sullivan University. I want to thank so many family members for coming out and supporting our graduates today. We could not have a finer facility in which to have our graduations, and I don't think we could ask for a better day for weather for everybody. Um, so, you know, I feel, I feel fortunate today. I hope you do as well. Um, the Chancellor sends his greetings and a 
best wishes to everyone and apologizes he's unable to join us today, but uh, he's watching this online right now. So we're going to get on, get along with uh, graduation. I'd like to introduce you to to you, uh, Dr. David Tudor. He's the vice president of the Lexington campus, and he's going to introduce our platform personnel. Good morning. It's my pleasure to introduce the platform personnel for today's ceremony. Starting from my right, your left, Dr. Jay Marr, President and Chief Executive Officer of Sullivan University. <laughs> Dr. Diana Lawrence, Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost. <laughs> President Glenn Sullivan, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Sullivan University System. Bridget Prather, commencement speaker, who will receive a more formal introduction in a few minutes. Mr. James Klein, University Ombudsman. Ms. Kim Wales Mitchell, University Registrar. Ms. Barbara Dean, Executive Director, Fort Knox Campus. Mr. Vincent Tenebra, Vice President for Sullivan University at Atkinson Square. Ms. Jan Gordon, Vice President for Sullivan University at DuPont Circle. And Mr. David Keene, Vice President for Community Partnerships. I'm back. I guess you're pretty excited. Before I introduce our speaker today, I have one thing I like to say at each graduation, and this is just I want to entreat the family and friends of our graduates today to, to just today, maybe today and tomorrow, treat your graduate like they're made of solid gold, okay? Because they've worked really hard to get where they are, and they deserve some a real appreciation from their family and friends. And graduates, I hope you all feel like you're 10 feet tall today and, you know, I want you to get out there and just conquer the world, okay? That's what I want for you all, so just go out and do it, please, all right? Our speaker today, Bridget Prather, is um, really a model in so many ways, um, really a hard worker, um, imaginative, creative. I'm not going to read her entire biography to you this morning. You can read it. Um, I defy you to be, not to be impressed by it. Um, what can I say? She's just, we're so proud of her, what she accomplished before she came to Sullivan, what she accomplished with what she learned at Sullivan, and what she's been able to do with that information and develop her career. And I will let her address that, but let me introduce you to Bridget Prather. Good morning, faculty, graduates, and the families and friends who are here to support them. I want to thank you all for having me here today. Every year, I resolve to do something that scares me. And thanks to you all, it's only April, and I can check it off my list. Really, it is such an honor to be here to share in your celebration today. I graduated from Sullivan University in 2008 with a degree in culinary arts. Moving to Kentucky and attending culinary school were two of the best decisions I have ever made. I grew up in California, and after college, I took a job in Los Angeles with one of the big four financial firms. I sat in hours of traffic to work a job that I wasn't passionate about, and because of that, I wasn't very good at it. When I met my now husband on the West Coast, he was already planning his move home to Kentucky. And a year later, I decided to join him. He said something to me that I will forever be grateful for. Honey, if you don't like your job, change it. Do something you like instead. 
It sounds so simple, right? Do something you like. So today I want to share with you three pieces of advice that I've received or learned along the way that have made me one of the happiest people that I know. One, do something you like. Two, remember who you are. And three, find joy in the small things. Number one, do something you like. I cannot tell you just how much I loved my time in culinary school. I remember being so excited that very first day to tie my neckerchief and fasten my name tag and walk into Chef Ackman's basic skills lab. And in preparing to speak to you all today, I dug up all my old journals, binders, notes and quizzes, and it was really neat to look back on that time. On the very first test, I scored 106. The bonus question was to name the six mother sauces. And Chef Ackman wrote on the top of the quiz, just as I suspected, nice job. I became the classic competitive overachiever. I never scored less than 100 on a test. I had near perfect attendance and I am still bitter that I didn't win a knife skills competition because Robert Siegel had a better julienned carrot than I did. I enjoyed studying and I loved the process of perfecting a recipe. And all of this was because I was doing something I loved, truly loved. Every day I looked forward to class and every afternoon I looked forward to working as an assistant pastry chef. Later, I would work as a prep and line cook for a woman who would become one of my most loved friends and mentors, Weta Michael. And then I would go on to create a statewide cooking show where I had the opportunity to meet some of our state's most talented and hardworking farmers and food producers. And I got to teach viewers to cook the food that I love to make. I even got a gig as a contributor on a show called Unique Sweets, where I got to paid to travel to bakeries across the country, eat dessert, and then talk about it on camera. It was a pretty great gig. And I never again got the Sunday blues. You know that feeling when you dread Monday? Guess what? When you do something you like, you're excited to do it again at the beginning of the week. Even if you can't do something that you like all day, every day, I really encourage you to find something you like about your day. And when it's time to do it, really focus and be present while you're doing it. Life is just too short and too precious. And you all are way too talented and too capable to spend your time doing something you don't like. Lesson number two, remember who you are. This is a big one for me. That near perfect attendance I mentioned, I found my journals from Advanced Tech with Chef Foster. I hope he still makes you do those journals, by the way. From that first day of school through all of our labs, the only time I missed a day of class was for a really fun reason. During international cuisine, I was the only Asian culinary student on campus, and I was tasked with leading the unit on Vietnam. This thrilled me to no end. Having recently moved from Southern California, I was really missing a classic Vietnamese deli sandwich that I had grown up on, the banh mi. For us, the banh mi was as common as a PBJ or a cheeseburger. This was before banh mi became part of the culinary vernacular. I marinated pork, I made the pickled daikon, the commissary ordered me my liver pate, and I had my mise en place of cucumber, jalapeno, and cilantro. My lab partner that day, Wyatt, still a good friend of mine, put the baguettes under the broiler and walked away. They burned, smoked to a crisp. The only bread left in the entire school that day was a bag of dinner rolls. Thank goodness the baking lab was learning to make rolls that day. So the banh mi became a series of tiny sliders. They were a huge hit with a mostly Kentucky crowd that had never tasted them or even heard of them. And I thought, well, they like my weird sandwich. This has mass appeal. So I recall the contest I had seen years ago on television. It was a burger contest. So I popped into the computer lab, Googled it, and wouldn't you know, the deadline was that day, that very day. I took it as a sign, I sat down, and I wrote a recipe I'd never made before with two hours. And a few days later, I got the call. Out of thousands of submissions, I had been chosen to fly out to Napa to compete with my Vietnamese, Vietnamese banh mi burger. I had grown up wishing that I could have American food like all my friends. I wanted pot pie, meatloaf. 
And instead of the weird things that I was embarrassed to invite my friends over for, like steamed fish with the head still on, slurpy noodle soups, and white rice every night. That recipe, the one I created because I missed the food of my childhood, completely changed my life. I caught the bug of recipe contesting, as it's called, and I ended up competing on a Food Network show hosted by Guy Fieri. I lost to a 76-year-old, legally blind, retired plastic surgeon. That is a story for another day. <laughs> but I scored a few minutes with a programming director, and they thought I might make good TV material down the line. It was basically a don't call us, we'll call you scenario, during which she looked at me and said, ethnic cooking doesn't sell, before I ever said a single word about what it was that I liked to make. That next year, I wrote another Asian burger recipe, Chinese chicken burgers with rainbow sesame slaw. I won $50,000 for that recipe from the National Chicken Council. I made that recipe for Paula Dean herself at her home in Savannah. And then I went on the news to talk about it. Because when you live in Little Lexington and you win $50,000 for a chicken burger, guess what? It makes the news. I started a career in food television that would last the next eight years. And I even ended up back at Food Network to host a show on Cooking Channel. It was the network's vision, and I was the host who was able to cook and read a teleprompter at the same time. I hosted that show for three seasons, and along the way, I had a lot of meetings with agents and producers who always asked me the same question. What is your unique culinary point of view? I could never answer them. I didn't know who I was and what I wanted to say. I was, and very much still am, a people pleaser. I gave them some generic pitches that I thought they wanted to hear. Ethnic doesn't sell just kept ringing in my ears. And even now, I'm still figuring out what my voice is, what I bring to the table. But 12 days ago, in preparing to speak to you all, I reread my old advanced tech journals, and I came across an entry from 2007. Today I made a miso glazed salmon with stir-fried vegetables and sticky rice. I get the most excited about dishes that are Asian-inspired. A rice dish always satiates my craving for home cooking, and I love the vibrant colors and flavors. I have an easy time improvising with Asian dishes. I love the flavor balancing I can achieve with soy sauce, lime juice, sugar, hoisin. I never worry about having to have a recipe. A part of me just feels so familiar with the ingredients, and I feel like I know what it's supposed to taste like. I mean, hello. <laughs> I can't believe I wrote that over a decade ago. If I had really listened to it and stood by it, who knows what might have happened. I am going somewhere with that message, and I can't wait to see where I land. It really is so cliche, but you have to be true to yourself. No one can do this for you but you. And you get to walk this totally unique path that no one else does, and I cannot wait to see where you all land. Number three, find joy in the small things. This one is a really easy one for me. My mom worked full time growing up in San Francisco, which meant that she left at dawn and didn't come back until dinner time. Sometimes she'd have a work meeting and in true Asian mom fashion, she would squirrel away a little gift for me, an apple juice, a cookie. If she didn't have a meeting that day, she would just run by her office break room and bring home a little packet of hot cocoa or something. She did this rarely enough that I never expected it, but I always appreciated it. They just made me so happy because they let me know that she thought of me that day. And so now that I'm a mom of two kids, a three-year-old and a three-month-old, finding joy in the small things, coloring with sharp crayons, making something my picky kid will eat. He doesn't know how good he's got it, by the way. Making the baby smile, arriving somewhere on time. Those things make my days incredible because guess what? When there are lots of those small things, they add up to a day that was full of joy. It's totally awesome. If you can find joy in the small things and celebrate even the tiniest of victories, then when you encounter those big things, the first day at a new job, the project that stretches your abilities, the promotion you earned, the invitation to speak at the graduation of your alma mater, it just makes those things that much sweeter. All of us get to be here today because 545 of you decided to do something you like. You're pursuing a field that you're interested in, or maybe you are taking the next step in a career you've already started. 
Over a quarter of you like it so much, whatever it is that you've chosen, that you're earning your master's or PhD today. For all of you, graduation marks the culmination of your work and the beginning of a new phase as you transition to whatever is next. Transition can be uncertain, but it's really exhilarating because this is when the learning curve is steep, the future is unknown, and every day presents a fresh opportunity to challenge yourself. But if you remember who you are, and if you focus on finding joy in the small things, I have faith that you will set yourself on a path to happiness. And for me, happiness is the greatest success. So thank you for having me. Good luck on what comes next. And above all else, congratulations on what you have already achieved. your own. Ladies and gentlemen, before the graduates come forward, I'd like to mention again that we encourage picture taking and that those family members and friends with cameras may come to the front and capture this special moment. We only ask that you wait to come forward until your graduate nears the front and after you've taken the pictures of your loved one, if you'll move quickly back to your seat so that others may also capture this special moment. During the procession, you may have noticed graduates today wearing the red, white, and blue honor cords. These cords signify and recognize the service of the men and women of our armed forces. At this time, I would like to invite all veterans, active duty military and military spouses to please stand so we can recognize and thank you for your service and sacrifice. You'll also notice on the commencement program that many of the graduates have one, two, or three asterisks listed in front of their name. One asterisk represents cum laude graduates, two asterisks represent magna cum laude graduates, and three asterisks represent summa cum laude graduates. Cum in Latin means with, and laude in Latin means praise. So cum laude means with praise, and this distinction is given to those graduates with a grade point average of 3.0 to 3.59. Magna in Latin means great, so magna cum laude means with great praise for those graduates with a 3.6 to 3.79 grade point average. And the word summa in Latin means highest, so summa cum laude means with highest praise for those graduates with a 3.80 to a 4.0 grade point average. Also listed in the program are those graduates who are recipients of the President's Award. Recipients of the President's Award for academic achievement must have maintained at least a 3.70 grade point average on a 4.0 scale for their accumulated work at Sullivan University. These graduates have attained that academic achievement. It is now time to present the degrees, and again, if you please hold your applause until all graduates have received their certificate, diplomas, or degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin with our certificate and diploma graduates. Ifra A. Ahmed, clinical assistant diploma. Shemaya. 
Shamea Chanel Allen, Practical Nursing Diploma. Paula Ann Baker, Medical Coding Diploma. Gloria Georgia May Blake, Medical Coding Specialist Diploma. Jasmine Conish, Medical Assistant with Phlebotomy Diploma. Kiana Shante Coward, Graduate Certificate in Conflict Management, Cum Laude. Serafina Michelle Cunha, Practical Nursing Diploma. Presenting Serafina's degree today is her father, Chef Michael Cunha, Instructor Sullivan Louisville. Crystal DeLeon, Limited Medical Radiography Diploma, Cum Laude. Amanda Lee Duncan, Practical Nursing Diploma. Stephanie Gail Hall, Medical Coding Diploma. Kenneth Ants Hatfield, Limited Medical Radiography Diploma. Sarah Elizabeth Heath, Medical Assistant Diploma. Brittany LaCole Hood, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Paralegal Studies. Chelsea Ann Hutter, Medical Assistant Diploma, Cum Laude. Morgan Lynn Mayfield, Practical Nursing Diploma. Christopher Kelly Mays, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Technology Certificate, Cum Laude. It's a mouthful. <laughs> Ophelia Jordan Moore, Medical Coding Diploma. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Shank, Limited Medical Radiography Diploma. <clears throat> Vinay Lenora Scott, Phlebotomy Certificate. Ashley Nicole Stidham, Practical Nursing Diploma. <laughs> Margaret Ann Wheatley, Pharmacy Technician Diploma, Cum Laude. Kelly Jean Williams, Phlebotomy Certificate. Christine. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the following certificate and diploma graduates are also recipients of the President's Award. Christy Renee Davis, Practical Nursing Diploma, Magna Cum Laude. Go ahead. Brianna Christine Flynn, Massage Therapy Diploma, Magna Cum Laude. John Mark Hardwick, Cyber Security Administration Certificate, Summa Cum Laude. Jose Antonio Quijada, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration Technology Certificate, Summa Cum Laude. Maria del Rosario Ramos, Medical Administrative Assistant Diploma, Magna Cum Laude. Lindsay Ray Shankaran, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Paralegal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. George Russell Shaw, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration Technology Certificate, Magna Cum Laude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our associate degree graduates, Casey Micah Anderson, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies. Esmeralda Isabel Anoda, Associate of Science in Marketing and Sales Management. Jonah Michael Auksher, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Victoria Kate Ayers, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Blake Fitzgerald Baylor, Associate of Science in Hotel Restaurant Management. Tammy Jean Bales, Associate of Science, Pharmacy Technician. <laughs> Rachel Elise Bainham, Associate of Science in Accounting. Carla Denise Beach, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education. Alexander Michael Bernero, Associate of Science in Architecture, Computer Aided Design Drafting. Jayla Marie Billings, Associate of Science in Accounting. Peyton Nicole Brown, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Rose Bryan, Associate of Science in Pharmacy Technician. <laughs> Miranda Megan Burns, Associate of Science in Health Information Management.
Gordon Ray Carpenter, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, cum laude. Dylan Charles Casebolt, Associate of Science and Computer Engineering Technology. Kyle Isaac Chapman, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts. Morgan Lene Cook, Associate of Science in Computer Graphic Design. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Craw, Associate of Science in Dynamic Web Development, cum laude. J. Walter Crosswaite, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts. Charles Thomas Day, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, cum laude. Grace Elizabeth Debsky, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Alexis Nicole DeMar, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Ruth Sophia Desroches, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. You got anybody that's going to scream for you? Probably. Is it Colin? Mm -hmm. Colin M. Elder, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Valerie Renee Elsey, Associate of Science in Medical Massage Therapy, cum laude. Lori Michelle Englert, Associate of Science in Logistics and Transportation Management, cum laude. Megan Isabella Farney, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jackson Scott Faulkner, Associate of Science in Computer Engineering Technology. Danielle Jean Franzen, Associate of Science in Radiologic Technology. Jonathan Ray Frost, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, cum laude. Corinne Folson, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, cum laude. Cheyenne Lynn Gimbel, Associate of Science, Culinary Arts. Jordi Navarrete Gonzalez, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts. Mackenzie Janelle Goodrich, Associate of Science, Culinary Arts, cum laude.
Catherine Cecilia Grabsky, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Cum Laude. Maria Lynette Grammer, Associate of Science in Logistics and Transportation Management. <laughs> Jesse Renee Grove, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. <sighs> you nervous? Kelsey Ann Hacker, Associate of Science and Business Management, Cum Laude. Peter Thomas Hagman, Associate of Science in Advanced Manufacturing Technology. Caleb David Hancock, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Hi, Brittany. You are? I'm not nervous. Brittany Page Harrison, Associate of Science and Medical Laboratory Technician. How can you be nervous? I'm nervous. What you do? Jeremiah James Halpert, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. High School. Madison High School, Associate of Science in Nursing. Stacy Michelle Heitkemper, Associate of Science in Health Information Management. Dallas McKaylin Highfill, Associate of Science in Baking Pastry Arts. Melanie Marie Hodge, Associate of Science in Radiological Te Technology, Cum Laude. Radiological. Leah Yvette Holt, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Travis William Hubbard, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Brandon Ray Hubert, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Mason Wayne Hughes, Associate of Science in Computer Information Technology, Cum Laude. Tierra Devon Hilton, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Elizabeth Lauren Ising, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Arthur Walter Jackson, Jr., Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Heather Lynn Jacobs, Associate of Science in Information Technology. You look like a jewel.
Amanda Robin Jewell, Associate of Science in Dynamic Web Development. Kyla Kiana Jones, Associate of Science and Pharmacy Technician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Megan Marie Kaiser, Associate of Science in Surgical Technology, Cum Laude. Robert Katonga, Associate of Science in Dynamic Web Development. Kristen Brianna Kern, Associate of Science in Architectural Computer Aided Design Drafting, cum laude. Kimberly Renee Kiko, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Cum Laude. Daniel Edward Kirkman, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Matthew Copper Klein, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Talia Cheyenne Lee, Associate of Science in Business Management. Leanna Maureen Lush, Associate of Science in Surgical Technology. Ali Ann Chavez, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Timothy Lee Malley, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Jim Ariel Peck Peck Mangligit, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Elena Maria Matlock, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts and a Professional Baker Diploma. Sirleaf Mariali Mbimbi Minimbu, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting, Cum Laude. Amanda Jo McQuillan, Associate of Science in Surgical Technology. <laughs> Yamileth Mendoza, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Kendall Renee Michaels, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Tiaji Amber Miller, Associate of Science in Medical Administrative Management. Labrea J. Mohammed, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies.
Lauren Nicole Moore, Associate of Science and Pharmacy Technician, magna cum laude. Therese Marie Napier, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Shelby Diane Orms, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. John R. Olette, Associate of Science in Architectural Computer Aided Design Drafting. Kelsey Jo Pace, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Parker, Associate of Science in Radiologic Technology. Hi. Shawanda Parker, Associate of Science in Business Management. Alyssa, Alyssa Paresh Patel, Associate of Science and Paralegal Studies, magna cum laude. Michael Edwin Paracchio, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, cum laude. Maxwell Lewis Perry, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Morgan Elizabeth Philbrick, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Ethan Cole Phillips, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, cum laude. <laughs> Megan Patrice Porter, Associate of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. Philip Ward Prevo, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, cum laude. Crystal Rose Rankin, Associate of Science in Marketing and Sales Management, cum laude. Crystal is a sous chef at the Sullivan University System. Colton Rape, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Nicholas Sean Reed, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Christian Aaron Repia, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Leanna Darielle Rhodes, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Richardson. Whitney Renee Richardson, Associate of Science in Marketing and Sales Management. Brittany Nicole Riley, Associate of Science and Pharmacy Technician.
Joseph Allen Roach, Associate of Science in Computer Information Technology, magna cum laude. Maximilian Robertson, Associate of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. Jason Dillon Rausch, Associate of Science in Information Technology, cum laude. Stephanie Renee Rowe, Associate of Science in Radiologic Technology, cum laude. Peter Nicholas Sadler, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Hennessy Luana Sanchez, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Amber Lee Schistler, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Sarah Leela Hermont Slater, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Why are they all right here? Everybody's family is right here. Brandy Jean Smith, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, cum laude. Savannah Rose Smith, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts. <clears throat> Todd J. Stewart, Associate of Science, Culinary Arts. Sanithia R. Sykes, Associate of Science in Nursing. Everybody's, everybody's family is right here. Dagan Torres, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Genesis Yvette Torres Vargas, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, magna cum laude. Lindsay Noel Trigona, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Or is it when I say culinary arts, this whole group hurts? Sarah Jordan Troll, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. <laughs> Heather Nicole Unger, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Timothy Joseph Waltz, Associate of Science in Architectural Computer-Aided Design Drafting. You gotta get the run up there. Tatiana Shamil Weathers, Associate of Science, Administrative Office Management. Shouldn't be getting pretty close. Deborah Marie Willis, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, cum laude. <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca Antoinette Yates, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts.
Just wait. Cameron King Yoder, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, cum laude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following Associate Degree graduates are also recipients of the President's Award. Rebecca Ann Brock, Associate of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. Chastity Ann Brown, Associate of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. Robert W. Brown, Associate of Science in Surgical Technology, summa cum laude. Jesse W. Cotton, Associate of Science in Radiologic Technology, magna cum laude. Joshua Nathaniel Crook, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Vicki Hercamp Cummins, Associate of Science in Business Management, summa cum laude. Christopher Roy Dean, Associate of Science in Business Management, summa cum laude. Christopher A. Dodd, Associate of Science in Radiologic Technology, summa cum laude. Lawrence Eckert, Jr., Associate of Science in Computer Information Technology, magna cum laude. Meredith Claire Fincham, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Jessica Rose Fowler, Associate of Science and Medical Laboratory Technician, magna cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Jean Hoffman, Associate of Science and Pharmacy Technician, summa cum laude. Katanya Nyan Jenkins, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Lillian Johnson, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Nicole Elizabeth Keller, Associate of Science and Radiologic Technology, magna cum laude. Caitlin May King, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Kenneth Wayne Larimore, Associate of Science and Logistics and Transportation Management, summa cum laude. Leah Christine Maruna, Associate of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. Ali Michelle Mitchell, Associate of Science and Radiologic Technology, summa cum laude. Yeah. 
Serena Nadi, Associate of Science in Computer Information Technology, summa cum laude. Sela Marie Oliverio, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Lauren Beth Pasmino, Associate of Science in Medical Massage Thera Therapy, summa cum laude. Presenting Lauren's degree today is her husband, Jorge Pas Pasmino, Assistant Director of Admissions at Sullivan University. Tanner Lee Rexing, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Chase Edward Rogers, Associate of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. Michaela Brooke Senior, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, summa cum laude. Madison Brooke Suit, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, summa cum laude. Drusilla May Tanell, Associate of Science in Business Management, summa cum laude. Morgan K. Valentine, Associate of Science in Surgical Technology, summa cum laude. Savannah Marie Weglars, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, summa cum laude. Dale A. Williams, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, summa cum laude. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our bachelor's degree graduates. <clears throat> Stephanie Dawn Abel, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies. <laughs> Rachel L. Andrews, Bachelor of Science in Clinical Laboratory Science, magna cum laude. Amber Dawn Anthony, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Brittany Page Avery, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, magna cum laude. Jordan Taylor Barnes, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, magna cum laude. <laughs> Bailey Catherine Bean, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Jonathan Ross Bowman, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. 
William David Bradshaw, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Michael Tyler Brown, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, cum laude. Anna Yancey Claxton, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Sharon Annette Davis, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, cum laude. It's Leah, right? Leah. Leah Mackenzie Elliott, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies. Stephen L. Frazier, Bachelor of Science in Advanced Manufacturing Technology, cum laude. Carly Ann Gratz, Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design, cum laude. Lindsay Alisa Greenwell, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership. Erin Nicole Hawes, Bachelor of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. Jim Longrock, M. Hunter, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Daniel Ivan Jarillo Guterres, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, magna cum laude. Rex Cameron Jenkins, Sr., Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Lene Cavanaugh, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership. Ronald Lewis Knuckles II, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Gracie Renee Magana, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies. Scott Aaron Major, Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design. Danielle Matthews, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, cum laude. Carrie Lynn Mattingly, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, cum laude. Kendra Lee McClarity, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude. Justin D. McDonald, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology.
Autumn L. McKinney, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Robin R. McMillan, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, cum laude. Monique Denise McWhorter, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Cynthia Ann Moeller, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, cum laude. Philip Beach Moody, Bachelor of Science in Advanced Manufacturing Technology, cum laude. Brittany Ann Nichols, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Marcel Rayshawn Noah, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Savannah Nicole Noakes, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Zachary Logan Parsons, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Stephen Allen Picanso, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, magna cum laude. Jessica Danielle Priester, Bachelor of Science in Paralegal Studies. Nathan Allen Radford, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, cum laude. Sean Michael Schultz, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, magna cum laude. Lisa Marie Shively, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Hello. Kelly Jo Marie Slaughter, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, cum laude. Amanda K. Staten, Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design. Alston Carl Tatum III, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership, cum laude. Latanya Thompson, Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design, cum laude. Kayla Amanda Tilford, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Melissa Lynn Tincher, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, cum laude. Yeah. Brian Allen Vandenberg, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Business Administration.
Nadia Miodrag Wallace, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Cum Laude. Angela Marie Weber, Bachelor of Science in Computer Network Security Forensics, Cum Laude. Presenting Angela's degree today is her husband, Chuck Weber, Admissions Advisor, Sullivan, Louisville. Derwin E. White, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Cum Laude. Christopher David Wilson, Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design. Tiana Lachey Wilson, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies. Bradley Jason Wiseman, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Cum Laude. Diana Elizabeth Woods, Bachelor of Science in Accounting Magna, Cum Laude. <coughs> Terika D. Washington, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Cum Laude. Ladies and gentlemen, the following bachelor's degree graduates are also recipients of the President's Award. Amanda Jean Barnesfather, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Justin R. Bischoff, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Isaac Edward Cheatham, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Summa Cum Laude. Gina Marie Connolly, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Nicholas R. Conrad, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Hagen, Haley Megan Cordell, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership, Summa Cum Laude. Presenting Haley's degree today is her father, Scott Cordell, Associate Professor and Department Chair at Sullivan Louisville. Tabitha Joe Decker, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Gary Lee Dukes, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Jontoyo C. Harris, Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design, Magna Cum Laude. Ricky John Hill, Bachelor of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration, Summa Cum Laude.
Michael Angelo James, Bachelor of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration, summa cum laude. Presenting Michael's degree today is his wife, Brenda James, Academic Services Coordinator at Sullivan Louisville. Ray Anthony Lantrip, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, summa cum laude. Stephen Joseph Linker, Bachelor of Science in Accounting Magna Cum Laude. Colin Stephen Medley, Bachelor of Science in Accounting Summa Cum Laude. Joanne S. Parker, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management. Summa cum laude. Crystal L. Perkins, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Summa cum laude. John William Rivera Pena. Bachelor of Science in Paralegal Studies, summa cum laude. Andrew James Safey, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Ann Sergisketter, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, summa cum laude. Hunter Jordan Shields, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, summa cum laude. Leroy Tinner, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, summa cum laude. Danielle Elizabeth Webb, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, magna cum laude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our master's degree graduates. John Dennis Aaron, Master of Public Management, magna cum laude. Waterian L. Alvarado, Master of Business Administration, cum laude. Stephanie D. Anderson, Master of Science in Management. Rose Berlin Sharicia, Master of Business Administration. Jennifer Jewell Crabtree, Master of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Charles Joseph Greenhill, Master of Science in Cybersecurity, cum laude.
we're pretty close, aren't we? Brittany Lynn Penny, Master of Business Administration, cum laude. Shelly Renee Roberts, Master of Science in Management, magna cum laude. Is this brother and sister? Yeah. Oh, I need both cards. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a brother and sister, both receiving their master's degrees today. <laughs> I know. Aww. We have Curtis Lynn Romans, a Master of Business Administration, and Rachel Nicole Romans, Master of Business Administration. Uh, Nicole also is a President's Award recipient. And presenting Curtis and Rachel's degree today are their father, Greg Romans, Curriculum Specialist, and his wife, Lisa Romans, Adjunct Instructor at Sullivan Louisville. Eric James Short, Master of Science and Management, cum laude. Eric is Director of Marketing and Enrollment Management Analytics at Sullivan Louisville. Sullivan Ladies and gentlemen, I now have a husband and wife both receiving their masters. We have it's Mr. and it's an easy name. It's Mr. and Mrs. Smith, believe it or not. We have Luana C. Smith, a Master of Science in Human Resource Leadership, and Raymond Smith, a Master of Science in Management, cum laude. Congratulations. He didn't, he didn't. He was the and he was supposed to walk and he came back and so now they're walking together. What was his name again? First name? That's all right. What was his first name? Raymond. Raymond. I, I understand, I understand, ladies and gentlemen, Raymond was supposed to walk previously, but he was deployed and he's now been able to come back and walk with his spouse. Gabrielle McChristian Stone, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership. Tammy Sue Townsend, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Cum Laude. Marika J. Wesolowski, Master of Science in Management, magna cum laude. Marika is Associate Director of High School Admissions at Sullivan Lexington Campus. <coughs> 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 okay. Christopher Lawrence Wilson, Sr., Master of Business Administration, cum laude. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our master's graduates who are also recipients of the President's Award. Amanda Nicole Allen, Master of Science in Human Resource Leadership, magna cum laude. Take a deep breath. 
Nicole Michelle Bridges, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, summa cum laude. Robin Lachey Christopher, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Robin is a high school admissions advisor at the Sullivan Lexington campus. Lanisha D. Clemens, Master of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Michael A. Comstock, Master of Business Administration and Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, summa cum laude. Kevin John Esposito, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Presenting Kevin's degree today is his wife, Emily Esposito, Associate Professor at Sullivan Louisville College of Pharmacy. <laughs> Keila Francis, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Angela Maria Hall, Master of Science in Management, summa cum laude. Angela is Assistant Director of Financial Planning at Sullivan Louisville Campus. Tisha Holt, Master of Science in Management, summa cum laude. Krista M. Johnson, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, summa cum laude. Angelina Giglio La Rosa, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Give me a hug, girl. Lori Ann Long, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, summa cum laude. Lori is an online instructional technologist at Sullivan Louisville. Dina Ray Madison, Master of Science in Management, summa cum laude. Dina is an admissions advisor at the Sullivan Louisville campus. That means you're nervous. I know. <laughs> is it Murray? Morgan Kelly Murray, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Kenidra Levette Marshall, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Fong Ha Nguyen, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Aforlake Orbawamumi, Orbawamumi, Executive Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Inter Wagner, baby. 
Ekta Indravadan Patel, Master of Science in Management, Magna Cum Laude. Maria Gabriela Pasmino, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Jessica Lauren Pearsall, Master of Science in Cybersecurity, Summa Cum Laude. Stephanie Ann Prater Blevins, Master of Science in Management, Magna Cum Laude. Kazi Arafat Rahman, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Magna Cum Laude. Donna Arlene Reed, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Luis Enrique Romero, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Dima Khalil Suleiman, Master of Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Lois Thomas, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Magna Cum Laude. Aaliyah Taishe Tompkins, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. James Philip Walker III, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Erin Elizabeth Zimmerman, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Magna Cum Laude. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our Doctor of Philosophy graduates. Courtney P. Brown, Doctor of Philosophy in Management. I think we've got to give him a little bit of time now because we've got to hurt him. Patrick Robert Hoyle, Doctor of Philosophy in Management. All right, now, now you're allowed to clap. How about a big round of applause for all the guys? Right
All right. Okay, this is for those graduates receiving certificates and diplomas. Please stand. Certificates and diploma graduates, please stand. All right. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby award these certificates and diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. You may sit. You may sit. Okay. Now, for those graduates receiving associate degrees, please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby award these associate degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. Well, sit down. No. Now for those receiving bachelor's degrees, please stand. All right. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby award these bachelor degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. You all please sit. Those graduates receiving their master's degrees, please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby, hereby award these master degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. You all please sit. For our Doctor of Philosophy graduates, please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby award these PhD degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. Please stand, all graduates. Okay? All right, all graduates can move your tassels to the left. Okay. Now, I would like all of you, all graduates, to do something. Put down your stuff, whatever you're holding in your hands. Turn around and thank those that supported you. I would be remiss if I did not take the moment to recognize our faculty who are sitting on both sides of us, if you all didn't pick them out earlier. Right? And you should thank your faculty as well. Okay. Should they sit? They can sit. You all can sit back down. All right, I'll now ask James Taylor to come to the podium to give the benediction. That's right, at our graduation, James Taylor gives the benediction. Congratulations, graduates. I did not bring my guitar. <laughs> Would everyone please stand? Everyone, yes, everyone. In the entire auditorium, yes. Thanks. Amen. Please remain standing as the graduates exit the auditorium. Let's pray. All oh, loving God, we humbly come before you today at a benchmark in the lives of these graduates. As we look at these graduates, we, we, we give praise for the study and preparation that has allowed them to stand here today. We also give thanks for the faculty and staff as they too have 
provided an immeasurable service to these graduates. And now as these graduates leave this place today, please show them your path and your blessing. And may the ed education that they have received provide the foundation for a successful and joyful field life. Finally, loving God, please be with us, Sullivan University, as we continue to educate students to the highest standards so more can come to know the hope and joy that this graduating class does now. In your precious name we pray, amen.
Courtney P. Brown, Doctor of Philosophy in Management. I think we've got to do them a little bit of time now because we've got to hurt them. So you're the strongest one.